What's good, Six Zap Gang? I'm back with another video. And today I'm with my Dolphins fans today. My Dolphin, Dolphin gang, what's up? You know, I know we just had a draft class that came in, a bunch of good players. You know, I don't mind any of them. I love them. Like, they're my brothers. Everybody on the Dolphins, my brothers. I don't care who you are, unsigned, signed. I appreciate you for coming to play for my team. But, you know, we didn't get a running back. It still bothers me. I mean, we got Garrett Doak. He's a very good talent. But we still, I'm hoping they address it next year. So today, I got somebody I think we should really take a look at. You should really take a look at. He reminds me of Christian McCaffrey. That's all I got to say. Christian McCaffrey. He reminds me of him. And you know what Christian McCaffrey doing with the Panthers, even though he be getting injured a lot. But still, if you could have Christian McCaffrey on your team as a running back, you would be great. He's a top, McCaffrey, a top 10 receiver. If he played receiver and he a top 10 running back. So not a lot of running backs could do that. I mean, Alvin Kamara, he up there, but you know, Christian McCaffrey, one of a kind. But I think this guy has the potential to be our Christian McCaffrey. I'm not saying he's gonna be just like him, but he has the potential. So I'm gonna check him out today. But hey, thank y'all for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, Dolphin Nations. We here today. We're watching Dolphin stuff today. Let's ride out. Gordon, Borgie out of the backfield. First down and a yeah. Yeah. Just like McCaffrey. And off Borgie, first down Wazoo. Borgie stays alive, and there he goes. You see that balance? Crossing the 20, turns the end zone, that and it's Borgie. Did he get there? Touchdown, Wazoo. He don't look completely like McCaffrey, but very similar. Good. He's hard to bring down. Out to midfield, still look. on his feet. The spin. And finally hold. So y'all not going to tell me this not a Brian Flores guy? A Brian Flores guy? Even though they ne never had nothing like that in New England, imagine if they did to have something like that. They wouldn't be signing all the running backs that they, that they got over there. Damian Harris. Who else they got? Ramon Stevenson. They got a whole bunch. A whole bunch. James White, I think, they got still. And they got Sonny Michelle. But I think they're going to get rid of Sonny Michelle soon. He might come to the to Dolphins because he's from Miami. But we'll see. First down, goal to go. Pump, Gordon, out of the pocket. Still looking to the end zone. He'll flip it that way. Man, wide open. It's Borgie. Touchdown. Play with some enthusiasm and some momentum and get him off the field on third down. Borgie with the catch and a leap over the defender, Max Borgie. Well, we've seen people like to compare him to Christian McCaffrey. Kids from And run Borgie. Oh, that was a Tempe Canyon in the middle of the field, wasn't he could it? Do some work. He, I feel like he could be a little bit more flexible. He got balance, but he could be a little bit more flexible. Like you know, he kind of stiff with it. You know, you know who I like? Kadarius Tony. He's part of my Gators. Gators, my college team. Kadarius Tony is something else, bro. That's what I like to see. You could get there, but you just got to keep on working. Kadarius have it naturally, but you can get there. Trying to convert a third down for the first time. Gordon did not like what he saw at first. He'll dump it down, and Borgie has got the first down and more. Such a great safety valve for Washington State, the sophomore Max Borgie. Move at the 20 of the Ducks. Set up the screen to Borgie. Mm. Able to. Let's see that strength, bro. Y'all see that strength? Run, tackle and go down the sideline. He put that boy Eventually to the ground, bro. Hopefully he'll be played. I don't think he'll be played. He'll be played. On the swing pattern. And that's where this kid is so valuable. 
Spencer, he not only he gets to the edge, in his speed too. But he, he gets, know he fast. He gets there and turns up field and goes. I think he ran like a four four. Now's your time four, to shine. Borgie breaks tackles and he gets the first. He seems strong though. He gets pulled out of bounds. He seems strong. I, I wasn't expecting him to be that strong. Borgie. He's taken out at the 30-yard line, a 13-yard So Christian McCaffrey comparison Back might be too much, but skips it to the outside and has a lane. Y'all see where I'm coming from, right? The 40. Couple of plays in Wazoo right on the march. They'll run it for the first time with Max Borgie. Very capable as a rushing running back. Uh, now uh the penalty adds on 15 more from the 36 mm. of Oregon. And Borgie breaks good vision, one. Good vision. He's finally wrestled down at about the 20. Very good vision. From the ASU 29. Borgie out of the backfield and spins off one tackle. Then Robertson. And he's always fighting for extra yards. That's what we need at running back. If you're not going to be the fastest and strongest, fight for extra yards. And it will be good with you. Love goes to Borgie, and he's going to walk in. You're not trying to be fancy. Ooh. Borgie, after contact into the you end see zone, that? touchdown, Ooh. Washington State. It's not in the game plan here. And it is, though, a running touchdown. He just got in there and the spun around. Got in there and spun around. Borgie touchdown. I don't like these little goal line, these little goal line rushing. I mean... It's gonna count as a touchdown, but I wanna see how you move throughout the O line and where your vision at, where your speed at. Seeing that, just you holding the ball going one yard, it's not gonna help me think of anything, but he's still good though. I'm not bashing him. I'm just I don't like that part of the film. But I'll take it. This is a touchdown. Well the turnover turns into six points and maybe one more for Washington State. Borgie touchdown. They'll run it. Max Borgie into the end zone. You see? Competitive. Going on, going on, going on. Borgie looking for his second score. Steps out of the tackle. And mm. So he might be a power back if he doing all that goal line. Or he probably was the only strong dude that they had up um, in Washington State. But yeah, man. That, he, yeah, he's not Christian McCaffrey, but... He has potential to be. You don't know. You don't know what could happen next year in college football. So we are gonna see how he perform. If you could put up the same numbers McCaffrey do, we are gonna see about that. Um, I think he can. I think he can because he was close to it before, but now he might have a chance. I really do. Um, I got some tabs up about him so we could look up. We got his 24-7 sports. Let's see what kind of athlete he was. He's a three-star. It's always the three stars that blow up, man. The three stars always blow up. 5'10, 198. Oh, there's a. I apologize. Let me mute it. My bad. Um, let me. Let me pull up Christian McCaffrey. It is 24, so we can look it up and compare the two sides. Twenty-four-seven. I think I think McCaffrey was a five-star, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. He was a four-star, close to a five-star, but they played the same position, all-purpose back. Um, six foot, one ninety-five. Man, work. He was five ten, one ninety-eight. Yeah, that's a five-star. Man, work. He was 5'10", 198. And he's just a little bit shorter, but close enough. You get what I'm trying to say? Um, who he had offers from? See, uh, Pac-12, that little Air Force, Harvard, you know, smart kid. But yeah, Pac-12, uh, Spanish, fancy smash here. 
but he worked his way up though. He was a three star now. He, yeah, I think he could have went the fourth round this year, fourth round, especially with the COVID and everything. But the, next year, I think he could solidify himself for second round. I, I'm not gonna say first round because running backs do not go in the first round. Only if they especially this. I don't think he'll get to that point, but he'll be close enough to be drafted second. Around like Javante Williams type. I put them both on the same level, but not the same player, but same level. Um, mm -hmm. Right here is uh, Max Borgie is one of the nation's top 10 returning running backs for the 2021 football season. After a season that saw the 5'10 to 06 senior out of Colorado, limited to one game. A player with immense speed, okay. I said he ran 4 4. Top, top receiving backs in the country. Just like McCaffrey when he came out. He won the Heisman. He didn't win the Heisman because that whole situation, but yeah, it's very similar. Um, and I have found his stats. I found his stats. Um, not his stats, but his numbers as far as the 40. It says he ran a 4 3 5. And he bench 335 pounds. The bench, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like a running back should be 15. That might be 15 reps, 225, but I'm not sure. But that's okay. But the 40, that sold me on him. McCaffrey, I don't think, ran that fast of a 40, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check again. McCaffrey ran a four four nine, so he faster than McCaffrey and he weighed the same the same weight as him, and they got the same skill set too. So this guy got potential, man. This guy got potential. But let me know what y'all think, man. Does this guy have the chance to be our second or third pick next year? A little Brian Flores guy, do what he gonna tell him to do. Y'all think so or not? Or who, what other running back y'all think we should try to look at? But hey, man, thank y'all for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe. We're on the way to the top. All right, B, we got that scrap on you. What up, y'all? All right, I'm a fault, wish. All right, bro.